hello guys and welcome back to my channel uh, this is going to be a new series and in this series I am going to learn and showcase what a new beginner can do to have text manipulation by that I mean effects on typography and since this is the first video I am going to use I'm going to select the text tool and I'm going to write the word start s t a r t and now I'm going to increase its size I'll just you know bring it in the center the purpose of this video is to how to give a nice outline to any text I'm going to change the font and name it Blackford uh, the reason why I have chosen this font will become clear immediately to you as we progress. Now what I want is I want to give outline to this letter. Now one way of doing this is to go into the strokes panel and increase the weight of the stroke. Let me change the color of the stroke and make it let's say red. Now this is a fine thin stroke. Let me increase the weight and the moment we do this we may immediately notice that the letter T and the letter A are overlapping and it just doesn't look nice it's not gelled together this is the problem uh, that typically a new student like me faces when we start working with text manipulation so I need to find a way to deal with this so that it won't overlap and it will have a nice crisp outline now the way to do is is to turn this typography into object I'll undo the effects that I have applied and now I need to go into objects and from there <coughs> and from there select um, expand what will happen is that the moment I press OK all these typography letters will turn into individual objects at the moment they are grouped together but they are now complete full objects and not just typographic letters anymore so I need to ungroup them so here you can right click and do ungroup once it is ungrouped you can see now both the letters are still overlapping these two ones I need to select them and go into the pathfinder and press in the shapes mode union as you may see they have now become one so when I apply an outline to it they won't overlap so the letter T and A are now unionized together rest of the letters S R and T are separate now I will try and add the outline to it and for that if you want to add an outline to a shape you can go to path and press offset path what it will do is it will offset the whole object to the outside or in the inside depending whatever you want in the positive pixels 12 pixels as you may see uh, already there is an outer outline and the inner outline let's press OK and you can see that there is this inner path the inner highlighted letters and the outer highlighted letters the outer highlighted letters are also overlapping with one another and for to solve that I will again unionize them just the way we did before so there is this outer bounding box and there are the inner letters so this is the outer and the inner letters it will become clear uh, in a moment now there are overlapping parts again we will need to unionize it now they're all unionized together although there are these small bits that are not necessary now now this is a compound path which means there are multiple shapes in it now to remove it I'll double click on it and remove these shapes what will happen on double clicking is that it will isolate just this object the outer path and allow me to work with it once I deleted this I can click off anywhere and as you may see there are these two now paths the inner and the outer now the thing is that the out path let's ungroup it just like we did with the inner one now the thing is this outer path is on the top of the layer I need to send it to the back and a simple way to do is to select it go in the edit and send it to back or 
just simply select the whole thing like so and from there just let me sorry just select select it again and simply press control shift and left bracket what it has done is it has sent the outer part to the bottom now as you may see that when I bring the cursor in the front the inner path is also visible I'll just change the color of these paths and it will become immediately clear to you so let's go into the swatches and press red it's applied to the uh, outline let me remove this since their path now so they can have an outline uh, I'll set it to none and choose the main color the fill color as you may see since I colored the uh, you know the offset path the outer path then I pushed it down it is now visible let me just remove this one more small part as you may see the outer path is on the lower surf on the lower layer or should I say uh, below the uh, smaller text that is in the black color let me give it a white color again it also has an outline let me set it to none select this one T and A were combined R and T now I can set it to none and give it a white color and that's pretty much it and in this way you can give an outline to uh, text by avoiding the overlapping thank you